You at least talk to me about it first instead of having to find out in front of everyone. All right, y'all. This is what my supper consists of. Corn, um, fried pork chop, and rice and gravy. So, your girl couldn't contain herself no more. I know the husband comes home in another 30 minutes, but I couldn't contain myself. It's like, Jesus, I've had this cooked. I'm hungry, and I want to try it. So, what are y'all cooking tonight? As for me and my husband, we are eating this. So, about to taste the rice and gravy. Good. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to try it with corn. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all just don't know. Southern girls can cook. Now me. A little story time. My first husband of 16 years did all the cooking. When it came to Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the holidays, he did the cooking. I did, you know, your Monday through Sunday. If it wasn't a holiday, I did the family cooking. For him and our children but now my husband I'm with now that I've been with since 2006 let me tell you he don't cook barbecue I'll give it to him there but as far as cooking a meal I haven't seen it yet now, he comes from a family where he knows how to cook. If he's hungry, he's going to cook. But I haven't seen it yet. So, it's up to me to cook. And I cook. Don't get me wrong. My nephew, I found out, knows how to cook, can cook a full course meal. But does he choose to cook for his aunt that works too? On his days off? That he doesn't have to go to work? No. He doesn't. I would like to come home one day and have one of my men, my nephew or my husband, cook. And not a dinner that's bought out. I want something genuine. You know. So... My nephew's second mom says he knows how to cook full course. And it's good. The boy cooked for me one time in my air fryer. I wasn't convinced. So, I decided to not have him cook in my air fryer. So, I cooked in my air fryer first time. And it was good. Y'all, I'm going to try my pork chop. So, y'all can hear. Chopped it. It's cooked all the way through. Delicious. Really delicious. And when I cook, on my days off and my nephew's here, which he's going to be gone for a week from tomorrow until Tuesday, well, actually, he left yesterday to go to Texas to stay with his mom and dad. His second mom and dad. So, um, he's over there. And they're going to bring him to the airport in the morning to go to Maryland. Let's just hope this boy don't have no full bottle of uh, Sarah Eve. Because they're going to take it from him. And he's going to get mad. Like he did last time. I never seen a kid get so mad. I just bought that bottle. Can't have no more than two ounces of liquid. Same goes for your your soap, your shampoo if you bring any, um, lotion, anything like that. 
medicine, you can bring it. They're not worried about that. They're worried about lotion, shampoo, toothpaste, stuff of that nature. Uh, don't bring no liquor, neither. So. But anyway, I am enjoying my meal. As y'all see, I don't like nobody watching me eat, but I'm steady eating and talking to y'all. And, uh, it's good. It's real good. Still watching the society. So. If y'all want my recipe for this pork chop, hit me up in the comment section. It's real easy. And I only use three seasonings. Then I use the Obey for the gravy. And the corn. So, this is good. The girl's almost finished. Look. Almost finished with the rice and corn. Still eating on my pork chop. This was a good meal. My husband's going to come home and he's like, well, is it cooked? Yeah, it's cooked. You can eat yours, but I already ate mine. So, I want y'all to know, I cook for my family on my days off. Now, I'm off Thursday, so I will be making a big meal and y'all will be in my kitchen watching me. So, y'all get ready because I'm starting uh, Wednesday night with the fudge and getting my turkey ready and my ham. So, yeah. I can't wait. Only because I like to cook a lot because I expect a lot of people to come. Always been like that. So, I've always made big meals and big meals last us a long time so this thanksgiving dinner is probably gonna last us for about um three days after so yeah so and i make everything you know now, my rice dressing, I use regular ground meat plus reshards inside. So, mm, that was a bone. Um, that's how I make that, and I make my stuffing with reshards. I mean, I got some extra stuffing so I could stuff inside the turkey. So... I'm going to have my cornbread dressing, my rice dressing, and then the stuffing inside the, chick the chicken, the uh, turkey. So, everybody stay tuned. Thanksgiving's going to be lit. It's going to be 5 o'clock somewhere, y'all. That's all I want to say. 5 o'clock somewhere. Husband better get some, some of a drink. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. Let y'all go. I am gonna finish watching this society, and I'll talk at y'all later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some good food ideas to make, and if it involves a video, send me to you to your uh, channel so I can watch it. Subscribe to me, and I'll subscribe to you. That's how I like to do it. And as always, no drama on this channel because I'm just Cincy, which is my business. I work, which is at Walgreens in the pharmacy and up front cashiering. And I do my meals at home. All right, y'all. Y'all come back. Share my video, too. Get me out there. I want to be big, just like everybody else. I want to be big. So, all right.
Y'all have a good day. And good evening and have a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday evening. No, Monday. Excuse me. I'm jumping ahead. Monday. Bye, y'all.